Fadil, uh, this is the first visit of its kind since 2012. The timing by no means incidental. Yes, well, Tunisian President Qais Saeed has stepped into Libyan politics before. Early in his presidency, he received Libyan tribal representatives. He's since spoken publicly about his belief that Libyan tribes should play an important role in Libyan politics and in Libya's constitution. Uh, but uh, Tunisia's businesses may be hoping that the president avoids legal theory and sticks to economic issues. Uh, Libya is a key economic partner for Tunisia, and Tunisian traders have been hurt by closures and interruptions to trade in the last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Libya has also historically been a place where many Tunisians have gone to work and have sent remittances back home, something that has alleviated Tunisia's notoriously high unemployment rates in the past. Um, one other reason uh, the president may be making this visit today is that uh, it comes after challenges to President Qais Saeed's own power in Tunisia. He recently had a disagreement uh, with his prime minister over a government reshuffle. The president, of course, is constitutionally tasked with foreign affairs and national security. So this may be a message that the president is taking a lead role here and that the prime minister and the prime minister's government ought to follow his lead. And there are, as you said, lots of historic ties between the two countries. They are, of course, neighbours. What has Tunisia's role been uh, in getting Libya to this point over the past few years? Yes, Tunisia has been an important player uh, in Libya's political wrangling in recent years. It's tried to be a, a peace broker. Uh, it has hosted numerous uh, dialogues between opposing Libyan actors and between Libyans and international players, uh, including the November uh, UN-hosted uh, dialogue process that led to the current unity government we see in Libya. Um, Tunisia still hosts the international headquarters and embassies of uh, many countries, uh, Libya offices, uh, providing a peaceful next or neighbor uh, venue, a, a peaceful venue at a time when warfare has continued to ravage Libya in the last decade. Um, so Syed's visit may be aimed at securing Tunisia's primary place among Libya's foreign partners and maintaining a key role for Tunisia going forward. Uh, again, this is a... Uh, uh, Kai Saeed is not only the first head of state to visit Libya after the new uh, Libyan prime minister, interim prime minister, Dweiba, took a hold, took power, but he was actually the first head of state to call him and congratulate him even before he was uh, officially uh, uh, confirmed, uh, officially sworn in. So it's worth noting that this is uh, Saeed's third foreign official visit. His first was to Algeria. So clearly, he is prioritizing Tunisia's relations with its North African neighbors. Fadil Ali Riza in Tunis. Thank you very much.